What's up, guys? You tired of me talking about Bitcoin yet? <laughs> Taking a quick halftime break uh, in between the uh, four-part video. I want to explain something to you guys real quick, okay? I'm in my car. just went to my uh, my storage unit and just put a bunch of stuff up, man. A bunch of stuff. Again, it ain't all about stacking sats and stacking ounces of silver. It's about putting back the things you need. So... Let me tell you three things that are happening simultaneously, guys, okay? These, these th three things are happening, whether we like them or not. Number one, our dollar, our U.S. dollar, even though it's the strongest dollar in the world, it's the, it's the world reserve currency, and many countries uh, need to use it, and it's very, you know, recognizable, and, and, and it is what it is, you know? Uh, our dollar is devaluating uh, every single day, week, month, quarter, year, okay? It, it just is. These idiots are responsible for printing gigantic amounts of currency units. Uh, they've gone to massive quantitative easing, printing up trillions of currency units. The U.S. government thinks it controls the world. And one of the major means by which it does that is the fact that the whole world accepts U.S. dollars. In fact, the major export of the U.S. for decades has not been Boeings or wheat or or uh, things of that nature. It's been dollars. Uh, we ship dollars to the Japanese and the Germans for cars and computers and the Colombians for cocaine. What'd you talk about, mister? <laughs> they ship us those things and we ship them dollars. And those dollars are literally printed up out of nothing by the Federal Reserve. So the U.S. government doesn't want to lose its international monetary franchise, but it is going to lose it. That's the first thing. The second thing is the CBDCs are coming. All right. They're coming whether we like it or not. Um, I don't want them to come, but they are coming. Uh, you've come out saying that we are going to get central bank digital currencies in 2023. And this is one of the scariest things on the horizon. Now, we did see in 2022 uh, a record number of countries, I believe 114, working on pilot projects uh, on central bank digital currencies. And the New York Fed, by the way, announced in November that they would launch a 12-week pilot project in collaboration with commercial banks for a central bank digital currency, kind of a news item that was under the radar there. And I believe, you know, a lot of people think we're going to go to hyperinflation. Um, they, they may do that because they can't get the CBDCs done on time. Uh, especially when you're passing $1.7 trillion omnibus bills. Um, you know, we, we may have hyperinflation. Who knows? We, we, we've never had this much money or cash or liquidity in the, in the system as much as we do now. Right? And the third thing is Bitcoin adoption is getting bigger and bigger. Take a look. Yo, we're in sunny Chicago. We're going to walk into a grocery store and buy some Coke over tour. A card network is not going to process this transaction. Bitcoin's open monetary network is going to process this transaction. Let's go. Hello. Hey. Can I check out each of these separately? Sure. I'll do the Coke first. Let's buy some Coke over tour, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Open payment standard. This grocery store is showing an open payment standard to receive dollars in their cash register. I could use any lightning wallet I want. I'm going to go with Zap which is connected to my lightning node running over Tor at my house. So I simply hit send, scan the QR code, confirm by entering my pin, and Bitcoin is leaving my node over Tor as dollars enter her cash register. Boom, I'll go with the peanuts next. Shout out peanuts if you know, you know. And I will go with the one and only cash app. 70 million Americans can do this. I'm simply going to scan the QR code again, enter my pin and confirm the lightning payment money is leaving cash app over an open payment standard and entering dollars in her cash register can i uh use pay with qr code for that bud light thank you we've also integrated for point of sale systems that are not interoperable an ability to pay with the qr code so i'm going to present my qr code awesome thank you I have it programmed to open my Moon Wallet. I'm gonna confirm my PIN. I have the payment pulled up right here. I'm gonna send. Should be good? Yeah. Good to go? Yes, we're good to go. So now it's becoming more mainstream, right? We have more outlets uh, accepting Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Our dollar is dying. And this is why 
you're hearing talk about uh, the Russians, the Chinese, the Indians, the Iranians, uh, a lot of countries, the Indonesians, they're, they're all talking about coming up yep. with a replacement for the dollar. And they will. The dollar has, 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 has no backing except the good faith of the U.S. government. And nobody has any reason to trust the U.S. government at all at this point. And the CBDCs are coming. Central bank digital currencies. This is like the final arrow in their quiver, where everything is going to go through your computer. Everything is going to be monitored. They'll be in a position to credit and debit your account, uh, especially whether or not you're a, a good little lamb. Uh, everybody buys and sells using their iPhones. So it's a short step from there to using something that clears through your bank, your private, your, you know, uh, commercial bank to clearing through the central bank. That's an easy, that's an easy step. But everybody's got a cell phone, so the government thought it would be natural to put their worthless inflated currency, make it easy for people to use their cell phone as, ta as opposed to carrying around wads of worthless paper. They'll probably offer everybody a, a, a free hundred digital dollars to groove them into it and show them that it's a, a nice thing and we're on your side. Listen, man, I'm not dissing silver stackers because I am a silver stacker. And I'm not saying this to brag or sound like a, you know, whatever, but I probably have more silver than 90% of you watching this video, okay? I am in the 1% according to the numbers. I am in the 1% of the world of having Bitcoin. I mean, having silver, excuse me, of ounces. Not in the country, in America I'm not uh, uh, in the top one percent, I am in the top five percent though. But in the world, I am one percent, and I'm pr I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are too. I am going to tell you how much silver you need to have to be in the top twenty percent, in the top five percent, and top one percent of silver stackers worldwide. <laughs> to be in the top five percent of silver stackers worldwide, you have to have anywhere from one hundred thirty-two to 176 ounces of silver bullion. We see that to be in the top 1% of silver stackers, you need to have a stack size ranging from 406 ounces of silver all the way up to 541 ounces of silver. And that's a lot of silver. As I said, to be in the top 20% of silver stackers, you need to have 41 to 54 ounces of silver bullion. To be in the top 5%, you need to have 132 to 176 ounces of silver bullion. And to be in the top 1% of all silver stackers worldwide, you need to have from 406 to 541 ounces of silver minimum to be in that group. A lot of people don't have silver. Okay, it is a great store of value. It's God's money. Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. The problem, guys, is we're in a digital world now. We just are. You know what I mean? And we're not going to transact in silver and gold. As much as I would love that, I would love it. I would love for the. And I look at my video I made about uh, how to stop inflation. I said, look, we need to back our money into back our dollars, uh, our currency to gold and silver. But the problem is, uh, greedy men will not allow that because they can't print that. And, and since money is the lifeblood of any civilization, uh, it represents the fruit of your past work, which is congealed in your savings, and everything that you want to buy and sell and provide for others, it's all done through currencies. And when these people that run these central banks have control, total control of the currencies, which will be the case when these CBCDCs go into effect. Uh, you don't own your life anymore. So the CBDCs are going to be complete control, more, even more printing, and it's going to be social credit scores and everything else. It is complete and utter tyranny and evil what these CBDCs are going to do. A lot of people in the world are interested in money. Everybody's interested in money. Everybody wants more money. You get the things you want. But there are a lot of people that are really interested in power. They're interested in controlling other people. In fact, I'll go so far as to say you got two kinds of people in the world. You got people that 
are interested in controlling the physical universe, creating things, making things, controlling things. And then you got people that are interested in controlling other people. And those are the kind of people that go into government in its various aspects. And they're dangerous, uh, criminally oriented people. That's how I define a criminal, somebody that imposes himself on somebody else's life and property. So it's already pretty much game over for the personal freedoms that we grew up learning to love and cherish. Complete. We're not going to be able to transact in silver. What I think if we ever do transact in silver, now again, there's only a small percentage of people in the world that have silver bullion. And there's only a small percentage, with that being said, that are going to transact in silver bullion, right? Now, can you take your silver and turn it into money? I mean, cash or whatever, or CBDCs? Of course. Of course you can. I'm not saying we're going to a cashless society, but let's just say we're 80% there. Uh, actually, more than that, because we're 92% there now. But let's just say 80, 8 out of 10 places you go to uh, don't, don't, don't take cash. They only take credit. Well, if that's the case and we're on the CBDC, CBDCs, what are you gonna turn your silver bullion into? I mean, yeah, you could turn it into some goods and services depending on who you deal with, but in order to transact digitally, because we're in a digitally, digital world, you're not gonna be able to do that with silver, guys. Okay, silver is a great store of value. I love silver, but you're not gonna be able to transact in it. That's why I'm begging and pleading you guys to consider Bitcoin. People say, well, maybe the world will go to Bitcoin. Well, maybe it will. I mean, there are certain advantages to Bitcoin as money. I feel like uh, they made the CBDCs to fight Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin is Superman and the CBDCs are Lex Luthor. This is the difference between Bitcoin and a central bank digital currency. Bitcoin is completely decentralized. There's no one founder or CEO which can program the money. With a central bank digital currency, it's basically a digital version of what we have now. There's nothing different to it. It's gonna be entirely centralized in the control of the government and the central bank. So if for whatever reason you hold the incorrect opinion, they can just program the money and use it against you. So if you like the wrong thing on social media, the central bank digital currency will no longer work. With Bitcoin, nobody can tell touch it. It's entirely in your possession. You'll have a non-custodial wallet and that is where you'll hold your Bitcoin and nobody has access to that. I, I truly believe that. So in order to uh, fight uh, the digital uh, evilness of these people, you got to have the digital good and that is Bitcoin. The only alternative to CBDCs is going to be Bitcoin. It's not going to be physical cash and it's not going to be silver coins or gold coins. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys really consider it. Again, and the reason why I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, at the top of the rooftops about Bitcoin, because, you know, you can, you can go to any channel and watch Silver Hands and, you know, stuff like that, talk about silver all day long and sit there and cross our fingers and hope it goes up, just like I do. I, I watch those channels too. Um, but then at the end of the day, we got to live in reality, guys. And again, I'm not dissing the Silver Stackers because I am a Silver Stacker. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you got Bitcoin, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Let me know why. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you so much. And uh, keep on stacking, man. All right? Peace.